the gas, tough thumbs here, back again. Uh, did some pimpage today, it felt really good. Uh, my new shop. Uh, first up, guys, I want to show you this one real quick again. I uh, was talking to Anonymous about it, and he is willing to part with it. Um, you know, he said you know, he doesn't want to sell it, but if, if someone really does want it, he will sell it for 500 And this thing is quarter inch D2, uh, like almost a mirror polish, so it won't rust. It is uh, bead blasted in the grooves here, in the blood grooves, uh, so that won't rust as well. It's chisel ground. That thing is just so damn sharp, it's just mind boggling. Let me see if I can cut something real quick here for you. Something this big on camera, I don't know if I can do it, guys. Do you know how much I suck at cutting, too? So, see me do that real fast. Yeah, so the thing's ridiculously sharp. So, yeah, with a sheath, uh, you know, 500 guys. Definitely worth every penny. This thing is insane. To own this thing, I would love to own this thing. I mean, I get a kick out of just holding it right now. It's very well balanced for something this big, too. And, uh, you, know, you got a lanyard hold top, down the bottom, wire break there. Just very nice. Very good chopper, very good, uh, you know, dinosaur killer, I guess. But anyway, I'll just keep that as eye candy in the background. So first up, oh, I got another one for sale, guys. My first, uh, first fully me ground, uh, you know, just, it's a, it's a really cool knife. I showed it last night, but it turned out just amazing. A lot better than, uh, than I expected it to, actually. So, uh, real quick, some, well, you know, yeah, I'll show the pimpage first here. So I got an Emerson Roadhouse, one of two. The other one's a Super Roadhouse, but I didn't do that one today. I just got done cleaning up and all this stuff enough to, uh, to do some pimp work, which was very enjoyable, so. So I got Roadhouse, which is my favorite Emerson. I just love the blade. Just absolutely love the blade shape. Just an awesome Tonto with a nice belly on it. Just a cool, cool knife. But this one is rocking the one of my favorite color G10s, black and blue G10, with the reptilian pattern. Looks absolutely sick on this knife. And uh, as expected, you know, Anonymous has given me some tips and uh, some extra tools and stuff, some stuff that I can't afford or didn't know about, like uh, reamer bits and stuff to make the pre precision countersinks, like absolutely perfect precision. And you know, before it was like, you know, sometimes I'd have to go back and fix it up or whatever. And, you know, most of the time it worked out, but, you know, just the tolerances would be slightly different sometimes, maybe. You know, maybe a little too tight, something, you know, but this is just perfect, so. Not to mention the time it takes is a lot less time, so. Yeah, this one turned out sweet as hell. It's just really smooth, nice lock up there. This is for a fellow USN member. Um, tomorrow's going to be exciting, guys, because I got... Two of my YouTube subscribers coming over uh, to hang out, and it's just going to be awesome. Um, unfortunately for them, they don't know it, but they're going to be stuck helping me move some stuff down in the basement. So, but there will definitely be some knife talk going on. Love Bloom Black G10. And this guy, I'm coming up for sale here next. Um, no name for it. Uh, I'll just call it the beginning. This is the first knife that you know I did here fully you know and it turned out fucking awesome and it's a quarter inch D2. Uh, it's I was going for just like a easy to grind knife a very normal looking 
you know, plain Jane knife, but it, you know, it is, but it just turned out to be just something, you know, it's, I don't know, I can't explain it, but the pattern on the handle is a new pattern that I sort of just thought up off the top of my head. I was doing the Starburst pattern, but I added something to it, and I absolutely love it. Um, I think I'm going to call it the Star Tooth pattern, I don't know. But here's this really nice full flat ground D2 blade. Almost a mirror polish on it, but it still has some of the grind lines there. Then you got the OG Green Starburst Star Tooth pattern, which I really like. Uh, the bottom is kind of tapered down on both sides for a good impact, like it hits very nicely. Uh, you can bang it on stuff. The grip is awesome. Just a very like traditional, almost like a BK2 type of style going on here, but you know it's just very thick. It's nice and uh, uh, contour, or not contour, but rounded around here. And uh, it's not rounded here, so you can still get the ferro rod up here, down here. But uh, it's just perfect, guys. And I'm gonna get sheath for this guy. And uh, this is the first one. It's a very special knife, guys. You could say this is the beginning of a uh, you know, really good uh, knife relationship with me and Anonymous and getting some really cool stuff done. Uh, so he definitely helped me out on uh, you know, tips and pointers you know, over my shoulder with this one. But uh, you know, it's really sharp. I'm not even looking at your own. This thing's it's kind of moist actually. We get the idea. You guys know I saw cutting on paper, on the uh, camera. But uh guys I'm selling this one for three with the sheath, tack lock. Uh, it's just awesome. debut of this pattern and one of my first like in the D2 blades I did a lot of them but uh, not as much as I do on this one so yeah, as far as the grinding goes and the D2 ones I basically cut the shape out and you know I started grinding them but anonymous finished them but I never did a full flat ground before It just it just melts in my hands. It just feels awesome. And we were batoning a little bit with well not batoning but we were uh, chopping with it a little bit just to see. And then we refinished it afterwards just so it wasn't scratched at all. But if someone wants this guys, um, give me a call or text me or something. Right now my inbox on my email is a little bit full. And I apologize guys again. Um, I haven't found the time to just sit there and uh, answer every email so far, but. You, know, you can always text me or or give me a call if, if it's you know urgent like if you need to get to me right away you know, I'm not trying to ignore anybody or anything like that nobody's uh, getting special treatment or anything like that I'm just you know, I want to get my head together before I get into it you know what I mean but I think I'm into it now so I'm just really psyched about this guy that guy getting those done and you know it seemed overwhelming but now it doesn't so I'm feeling good about it but this thing's kind of got, it kind of reminds me of the Lion Steel Blade, honestly. But I love this thing, it's just awesome. It's flawless all around. So I can do some better finishing now without with uh, having the uh, grinder and everything, so. Yeah, there's no scratches, there's just fingerprints because it's so shiny. Uh, it's a little bit over a four inch blade. Yeah, I'll show you next to the roadhouse here. Yeah, it's dwarfed by the uh, mother fucker up there. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and uh, hopefully we'll have some cool footage tomorrow. Uh, I think Vance might make a video too. Um, Gavco apparently is too cool to come hang out so yeah, he's too busy hanging out with his girlfriend or something. Anyway guys, have a good one. Peace.